Hold a script. We do move to the budget around as we need it. If we need them over here, we'll try to move a bit of money here. So at that year, we had a problem where some homeless people on the east side of the bridge, they actually set it on fire. Right. And I think it was intense enough, we actually had to do some mechanical, redesign, do some work in there. So some of the money we have, we have to sort of say, okay, what's the biggest priority today? And then, so from then on, no painting was ever done? Well, um, in a in a way to prevent not, the rust. Not as much as one was always like, but it's always there's always challenges. How much you put here, how much you put there. Like for example, we don't have a, a budget to say this is strictly painting at this budget. Like we've done, uh, I think it was 2005 or so. We have to redo the the deck. That took like a hundred something thousand, and it was basically all the blocks that hold the deck. They basically fell, so they were actually uh, flax. Right. If you don't fix that, you start losing rivets. If you start losing rivets, you start losing the complete value. So the city doesn't have the budget to properly maintain the bridge that it already has. So we're going to buy a new one and not properly maintain that one as well? well I think it makes us the, the, the biggest advantage, I would say, with the, um, with the new bridge is the main just drops way down. In an older bridge, you got rust, you got are basically problems with accessibility to get mm. to it. At least it's the devil you know, though. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if any painter now, what's the biggest challenge to, to paint or successfully paint something? Preparation. Preparation, basically, it's four hours of prepping, maybe half an hour of painting. Right? The painting goes quick, it's trying to get to every bit of rust, prep it properly, paste it properly. The fact that we have lab, the time that it takes us to the prep, everything has to be collected because it's flat. People have to be with masks, people have to be on disposable suits. Everything comes out of there, has to be disposed at the end of the day. It has to be manifest, it has to be shipped away in the Yeah, and there are contractors in North America who do only that. Oh, absolutely. But I'm just saying, to bring a contractor, you got to basically set it up and do it all at once. What would happen to the, if, you, if you destroy this one? What happens to all the things that you actually, you know, that one is made of? Where do the go? steel all will be them. recycled. So my feeling is, is the company that bids on it recycles the material, and he puts this as part of this. Yeah, there's money to be made. Obviously, you say cost me. It's going to cost me this for a new bridge. It's going to take me this much to dismantle. It's going to take I make this much to recycle, but. That's sort of a business. Mm. What is your title of the city? Uh, manager of uh, streets. Okay. So I basically responsible for streets, sidewalks, bridges, and electrical. Okay. So, right. Okay. So with the new bridge, then what you would basically 